Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of U7.net. Still jamming and so far. You are still watching. And guess who's back? Rob the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have been pumping iron. You know, you see on these biceps. Very impor important to do your training. For what? Is there something special tonight? Yeah, it's uh, Rumble of the Kings. And hey, by the way, I actually taught Rob an anaconda show, so now you're an expert. <laughs> now you're on a black belt, black belt level. With your Nogueira shirt on. But actually now you have something else. But on the gym you had the Man Nogueira exactly shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, who's going to be on this event that we are watching tonight? It's a K1 event. Hey, hey, hey. hey. The biggest black, black, black dude on earth. Bob Sapp. The beast. And who is he going to meet? Jürgen Krut. Former K1 superstar because he ain't the K1 superstar any longer. Uh, next up, uh, who's, who I want to see the most is actually Artyushenko. He's my favorite K1 Max fighter. Uh, he's like uh, Russian Bruce Lee. <laughs> and, and he's meeting one of the top fighters in Sweden, which is Marcus Erberg. Yeah. Um, and then, then we got a guy who has a name that I can't pronounce. Kathleen Mursani from Romania. Yeah, and he's fighting uh, Gary Goodrich. The former arm wrestler. So uh, we're gonna break down these fights. So uh, hey, all right, let's go at it. Bob the Bishop, you're in crew. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Who's the best fighter? You're in crew, of course. Bob Sap, he ain't a fighter. He's a he's a muscular big dude. Who's pretty strong, no heart. Decent shit. That's it. But a boob shop, I don't know if he follow follow his his career. He actually started as a pro wrestler, you know, WWE, WWF in Japan. Then they they uh, took him to K1. Did did pretty good against you know the, the, the technical striker, you know, and as the who's Levi Bunyaski. But against the guy who is you know more explosive and powerful, like Roka, then he lost. Then he he switched to MMA. Uh, had some pretty good wins, was undefeated, fought against Nogueira, that fight was crazy. He actually powerbombed him, like in wrestling, spanked him like a baby, but you know, Nogueira is the Minotauro. He escaped death, came back, submitted him, straight armbar. Uh, this fight, is, it's gonna go, go, go down like this, Bob Sapp, it's gonna come, come out like, a, like, like it comes out from the burning building, do like this. And your is, is going to do like this. Uh, second round, yeah, second round KO, Bob Sapp. Uh, if he, if your Kut makes it, makes it to, the, to the third round, maybe he will win, but I don't think so. Yeah, I know you're wondering why 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 we are we are filming a, a red card. But this is actually how. Jürgen Krut is gonna look after Bob the Beast uh, have rape. Have, oh man, I mean beat him, not rape. Right. Uh, next bout is actually my favorite fighter on this card. Artuchenko, uh, he's a Muay Thai specialist, good leg, good leg, leg kicks, good boxing, and he he is a finisher. And he's fighting Marcus Erberg, uh, Swedish K1 star, K1 Max star. Uh, I don't know so much so much about him. He actually won the K1 uh, tournament in 2008, I think, in the uh, Scandinavian uh, K1 Max. Okay. Actually, two times Swedish uh, Muay Thai uh, champion. Uh, and actually, won, uh, once in uh, Asia, he won the WMC in Muay Thai. Damn, so on paper, this actually is a pretty even bout. But uh, uh, the thing with Artushenko is that he cut so much weight because, you know, it's even uh, minus uh, 70 kilo or, or or big K1, you know, 100 plus kilograms. So, and and, and he, he, he weighs like 85 kilograms uh, more, maybe more. So he always gasses. But uh, if he wins the first round, 
it's either going to be a KO or a decision win. So, Artushenko, second round, TKO. That's it. Easy. Okay. Gary Goodrich versus Catalin Morosano. Hard name to pronounce, whatever. Um, I don't know so much, so much about the, this Morosano guy. I Actually, won, once, he uh, won once against uh, Mighty Mo, but that was in 2001. Okay. Then he haven't fought anything till 2009 and 2010. Alright. Uh, the thing is, I haven't seen him fought. I don't know if, if he's a technical striker because uh, Gary he's a, he, he's a powerful dude, uh, former wrestling, wrestling world champion. Uh, good shin, but you know he's old now and he had a lot of losses. Like in MMA, he's like 22 and two, you know, 22 wins, 22 losses. In K1, I don't know how much, but he, he definitely got got more than more than 15 losses. And um, he's a slugger. The thing is, have he done his cardio training? That's the question here. So uh, I'm actually gonna believe that Gary Goodis is gonna lose this through a decision. Hey Rob. Yes. What you doing? I'm texting our fans. Our like fans? Around the globe. Dana White? <laughs> no. Okay, he may be a fan, but uh, we may be not a fan of his. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, hey, seriously, do we actually got people who follow us on Twitter? Yeah, we do. Uh, especially here in Sweden when uh, great fighters like uh, Tennis Lates and uh, Joachim Hansen is fighting our, on our cards. Okay. But uh, do, do, we have, do, do we have any... Uh, tough prospects? Yeah, we have one tough prospect, but uh, uh, he's probably going to have his chance uh, if they uh, take the middleweight uh, okay. division, but uh, I don't think he's going to be in the finals. Though. Okay. But uh, a little secret. Rob, you don't like that guy. No, because he's called the dog in Swedish. <laughs> Word! <laughs>